Hello Nuggets. So I said I wasn't going to do any more videos on circumcision. Um, and then I had a thought this morning, which is that uh, that's the wrong choice. Not because, I said it because I didn't want to keep harboring, uh, harping on about it. But then I found myself this morning Googling what other people are going through on circumcision. And I thought, well, I should put it up. I should put it up so if anyone finds a video, finds the tag, they want to know. Okay, so here's the update. So we're on day eight. Yeah, day eight. Um, it's better. I had a bad day a couple of days ago, uh, but it's a lot better. Sensitivity is still crazy off the charts, um, but it's just starting to feel better. I mean, put it this way. I can actually clean it now with my hands very, very carefully. But before, it's just like letting the water run over it and being very gentle. But now I can be a little bit more aggressive. Not aggressive. I'm still like kid gloves. But I can actually touch it now, which I couldn't before. Um, so it's feeling a lot better. It's really itchy. <laughs> like, And so my panic's in. I'm like, maybe I'm dirty. So I just washed it in hot, warm water. Not hot. I wouldn't dare risk that. Some warm water and, and cleaned it as best I could and dried it off. And it's itching. So that's he healing, itching, right? Um, turn this off now if you don't want to know. So there is some yellow scar tissue, which I thought was an infection. So I spoke to the doctor. The doctor said, no, it doesn't look like an infection. I sent him pictures. <laughs> I sent my doctor dick pics. Um, he said, it doesn't look like infection. There was a small red spot on the frenulum, frenulum, which he said that might be infection, but just keep an eye on it. Uh, it hasn't grown, so I don't think it is. I think it's just healing. Um, tissues the um, stitches are all still there I can see the end bits of the stitches are uh, dissolving they're thinner than they used to be uh, and they feel a little bit more uh, flexible than they were before so that's good my little it looks like my dick has a Mohican so it's a little weird or, or one of those neck collars on you know the studded neck collars it looks like one of those so um, I'll be glad when they're gone um, no underwear is the key. I was I was wearing regular underwear to kind of hope that the package would be kept in and it wouldn't rub around. And that was okay, but now I'm just wearing loose shorts, just letting it free ball, literally. And it's um, it's a lot better. You know, it's still, the, the head of the penis still rubs against the cloth a little bit sometimes, and that sensitive kind of sends a jolt. It's a little better. I, honestly, the worst thing is walking. I can't walk. I mean, I can, but it's so slow and it's so difficult. And it kind of hunched over, um, not because of the pain, because of the sensitivity. It's right on the edge between pain and sensitivity. So it's hard to kind of clarify what it was. The first few days, it was pain. And then it became pain with the occasional sensitivity. And now it's sensitivity with the occasional pain. But it's right in between. So it's getting better. Um, doing some reviews of stuff. Reviews. Putting up reviews. Best circumcision in town. No. So... Reviewing some stuff online, I found that um, my process seems to be pretty standard, what I'm going through. So if you're getting this, if you find this somehow, and you've had one, you're wondering what's going on. Yeah, it's going to be really annoying and frustrating at day eight, at least. Um, this guy I've gone to, what's his name? Ed Perez. Awesome dude. <laughs> thank you. Um, I need to send him a comment, actually, to say thank you for putting this up. Because watching this is what made me think, I need to put mine up so people know. Um, he went through his circumcision for different reasons, but still he was like, he wore a condom for a while, which I hadn't thought about, but then I thought, how the hell do you get it on? Because you'd have to, oh, the pain. So mine is, um, I do wrap mine in a bandage at night just because it's less likely to hurt while I sleep. I sleep on my front and my side. I used to, now I don't <laughs> because of reasons. So, um... Uh, putting a bandage around though kind of helps you can kind of, I can kind of lean over I have a side pillow and and kind of lift I lift my center section isn't touching the bed when I'm in a certain position so I can kind of just keep it off of the mattress which is good that's a godsend dogs are still a nightmare they still jump up occasionally and whack it angry little red devil that I have I spoke to my stepfather today about it he said how are you doing and I said psychologically it's weird to look at it it is to me it was it's weird looking at it every day is weird and I gave him the comparison that my uncircumcised penis was like um, uh, Robin Williams. It was kind of soft and gentle. And I think he did a penis impersonation. impersonation. It's kind of soft and gentle and, and kind of loving and cute and funny. 
and my circumcised penis is like Sam Kinison. It just, it feels like it's screaming at me all the time. So that's frustration. Uh, I get erections every single night. That seems to be common as well. Doctor didn't mention that. That would be a good thing to mention. Um, some people have had pain. I don't have pain. It just feels like I have the biggest and strongest erection I've ever had in my life. It's like, it's like a forearm. <laughs> it's really strong. And the problem is, is that because it's so strong and so sensitive, it doesn't go away. Like when I get one and it wakes me up, I have to get up. Like there's no just sitting through it. It, it will go. We're talking, it's like I've taken Vi Viagra. It's like, I assume, I haven't taken that before, but I assume it's like 10, 15 minutes, half an hour. It's just still there. So I have to get up and do something else, distract myself, and then I can go back to bed. Slept a little better the last two nights. Um, and I think that's just pain related. So really at day eight, the biggest issues for me is the yellowing is weird because it looks like an infection. Doc says it's not. I've looked at some pictures online, which wasn't fun. And it looks pretty much like those. Um, the itching is frustrating and the sensitivity. But there you go. There's my day eight. Is it day eight? Last Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Day, there's my day eight update. And I will do more of these so that you have something to follow. Um, but it's better today. So if you're on day three, stick it out, brother. <laughs> Just stick it out, you know. Uh, I even went out on my own today to get a sandwich. I looked ridiculous walking into Togo's, kind of hunched over and walking like a ginger old man, like I had my appendix out or something. Um, but yeah, right now, for instance, no pain. But itching. Oh my God, I want to scratch it and I can't scratch it. All right, little nuggets, there you go. There's the update. I'll do another one if I, uh, if I think about it, if I get around to it. Have a great circumcised day. Take care of your penis. <laughs>